हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू द चैनल सो हेयर वी आर डिस्कसिंग मॉडिफाई ग्राफ एज वेट्स विच इज़ अ क्वेश्चन ऑन लीड कोड डेली प्रॉब्लम सो यू आर गिवन अनडायरेक्टेड वेट कनेक्टेड ग्राफ कंटेनिंग एन नोट्स लेबल फ्रॉम जीरो टू एन माइनस वन एंड इन टीजर एरे एजेस वेर एजेस ऑफ आई इक्वल टू ए आई वी आई डब्ल्यू आई इंडिकेटिंग देर इज एन एज बिटवीन नोट्स ए आई एंड वी आई विथ वेट्स डब्ल्यू आई Some edges have weight of minus one, while others have positive weight w greater than zero. Your task is to modify all edges with weight of minus one by assigning them positive integer values in the range one, two, two into ten to the power nine, so that shortest distance between node source and destination become equal to the integer target. If there are multiple modifications that make the shortest distance equal to target, we can consider any of them. so we need to return an array consisting all edges in any order if it is possible to make shortest distance from source to destination equal to target or empty array if it is impossible so first i have drawn this graph which is taken from this input and we have source as 0 destination as 1 so if source is 0 destination is 1 my path becomes this so if my path becomes this then what i need to do is i need to set the weights such that the sum of my path is equal to target which is 5 so first of all what comes to my mind is i need to make the weight positive so what can be the minimum weight because i want the shortest distance so the minimum weight can be 1 so i will replace all of them by 1 so i have replaced all the minus 1 with 1 now what's next i go to 0 to 3 i check distances now 1 plus 1 plus 1 that is 3 so i want 5 but it is 3 so 5 minus 3 which is 2 so i will add 2 to this now what this becomes this becomes 3 so if this becomes 3 then what's the total 1 plus 1 plus 3 which is 5 so we got our shortest path equal to the target and hence we will return this array so the possibilities are to keep all one and one of them three which is also shown here there can be other possibilities too but we are trying to deal by putting initially the minimum value which is one here minimum positive value so now considering the next case let's go to the next case here so in the next case we have 0 2 and 1 only so let's erase this portion this is enough i think and then we will have another node which is 1 so i will add 1 here okay so 1 is added now 0 to 1 i have minus 1 0 to 2 i have 5 my target is 6 so target is 6 source is 0 destination is 2 target is 6 source is 0 destination is 2 but i have only one path here this and it has edge of 5 which means i can't reach the target so i will return an empty array in this case now considering the next example which is this one so we have 0 1 2 3 4 all connected let's overwrite on this only so we have here 0 1 2 3 4 connected and we had initially 
zero to three as minus one. This was minus one, and our target is two. My target source is two. Uh, source is zero. Destination is two. So zero to two, I have this path. Zero to two, I have this path. So this path it counts seven. This path it counts for now five and minus one, which I can take minimum as one. So five plus one six. So this is the shortest path, and we can replace this with one. So now let's think about how to proceed. We took three cases here and understood that there can be. different possibilities so here there are total three possibilities let's take three of them one possibility is we have minus 1 but it is not present in the shortest path so shortest path not contain or we can say minus 1 minus 1 not in shortest path this is one case another case can be minus 1 is present in shortest path okay so these two are the cases and then if my minus 1 is not present in the shortest path then i don't need to worry if any of the minus 1 is not present in the shortest path how this case arise this case arise from the case that my shortest path the shortest path which i am getting from source to destination is less than my sorry is it should be equal to the target so my destination source to destination path is equal to the target now equal to the target means what that we have already reached the target so we are not worried about minus 1 hence we can put minus 1 as anything so we can put minus 1 as the maximum value which was considered so around 10 to the power 9 this case is resolved another case is minus 1 is present in shortest path if minus 1 is present in shortest path so there arise two cases one case is that if my distance of the destination distance of the destination is less than or equal to the target then what i can do is target minus this destination sum would be the one which i need to add to the edge so i will be adding this to the edge and if still it is not possible to have equal to the target which is this case then we would return empty array else we would return this modified array 
सो आई होप यू अंडरस्टूड ऑल द थ्री कंडीशंस सो वॉट आर द थ्री कंडीशंस आई वुड रिपीट सो वी आर टेलिंग दैट इफ इनिशियल पाथ इज ग्रेटर देन टारगेट देन एजेस विद वेट ऑफ माइनस वन आर मॉडिफाइड एंड द शॉर्टेस्ट पाथ इज रिकेलकुलेटेड एंड देन इफ दिस अलाउज अस टू क्रिएट अ पाथ वेयर द रिमेनिंग माइनस वन वेट्स आर सेट टू अ लार्जर वैल्यू एंड इट इज रीचिंग द टारगेट देन वी वुड रिटर्न इट ऑल्सो इन दिस केस If we are getting a shortest path initially, like our distance is equal to the target, then we do not need to check for minus one because without minus one also we are reaching a target. So we can set the value of minus one to something big as ten to the power nine and return the error because we do not need uh, we can't keep minus one as it is. so i hope you understand understood some part of the solution so let's see the code so that we can have a more clarity so here is the code what we are doing is first we will create a graph out of what we are given which means these edges and weight so as it is undirected graph we will push both sides like we will make a edge from 2 to 3 as well 3 to 2 so here if i am taking u and v so my u is 2 let it be and v is 3 so i will push into the value of 3 and the weight so i have 2 corresponding to 3 comma 5 and 3 corresponding to 2 comma 5 like this we will make the graph ready Af or uh, and also, if we want to check, what we are doing is, as we considered a case where minus one was not in the shortest path, so we are considering this first case and we will run the Dijkstra algorithm, which returns the shortest path. If you don't know about Dijkstra, you can see the videos or initial uh, the GFG link. It is easy to understand. so dijkstra returns the shortest path so we are using uh, that algo in this so we will be using simply a bfs to go through it so what we are doing we are checking if the node is minus 1 we are continuing which are which means we are skipping this node so all the minus 1 are neglected so for this condition this one is neglected this is not taken into consideration so we have the graph like 2 3 1 and 0 we don't have this edge now this is our graph and we have our weights 5 3 4 now we check the shortest path shortest path from where 0 to 2 so it comes out to be 7 okay so here what we do is we created the graph now we will perform bfs from the starting node so performing bfs from the starting node here we return the distance by checking if my distance is greater than the current distance which i am having plus the weight so i will update it and keep on pushing to the q so here i return the distance here our distance is 7 now if my distance of destination which is 7 is less than target is it less than target target is 6 no so we don't go to this loop now if shortest path is exactly equal to the target this is not the case our distance is greater than the target so what we do now for each weight of minus 1 we put the weight 1 
and then push these also to the graph so now what my graph becomes this edge is also added and i have weight here 1 so now we check again bfs we again go to bfs this becomes 6 so target minus distance my target is 6 and destination is also equal so 0 I don't need to add anything to the edge and for other edges which are left suppose if I am left with any other edges which are still equal to minus 1 like some of the edges are left to minus 1 then we will put it to a greater value it doesn't matter and we return the edges so this is how the algo works and if all these are not there we return empty array so basically we have covered all the three cases i will go through the code again so first case was we were having this initial graph without minus one we checked in it and we got our distance of the destination if distance is already shorter than the target then we will return empty array if distance is equal to the target then just replace minus one with any bigger number because minus one is not present in the shortest path and we return the edges else we will again traverse by bfs by putting edge equal to 1 and the extra value will be calculated here whatever is needed to be added in the edge like in the first example we took here we were taking this edge 0 to 3 this was 1 so here difference would come 2 so it would become 1 plus 2 which is 3 so let's see here if you see here we will be getting last one is 3 yeah so 1 1 1 and the last one is 3 so like this we can get our answer so i hope you all understood this solution and if you need any explanation about this in detail or you didn't understand anything just post, post it in the comments thanks for watching